What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I'm making completely personalized one-to-one -one cold calls on a daily basis and how it's helping me get insane results. So first things first is I just pulled a simple list, this is from Lead Rocks and Apollo. So I scrape using instant data scraper, I scraped LinkedIn and websites and then using Lead Rocks I got mobile numbers, right? There's a multiple, multiple ways to get mobile numbers but I think Lead Rocks and Apollo is a very solid way. It's budget friendly and it's good for starting out. I'm gonna be covering a few more different ways you can get numbers in, in coming videos. So this is a business insurance niche. So this is a niche that actually I've not seen too many people go after, which is why I'm demonstrating it in this video because it's, it's one of those niches that really holds a lot of wealth, right? And I don't see too many people using it as I just mentioned. So I built a script was the next stage for this because I'm using this script to then plug into this clay table that will show you exactly how I use personalizations for. So the opener is actually really interesting. It's, hey name, you weren't expecting my call but I hope you can help. You're part of a list of 17 and then just mentioning the exact ICP that they are, I'd like to work with. Can you help me understand if that's relevant? And then it goes back into just the, the usual frame of the scripts that I, I've discussed in, in previous videos. So you, you have the high level statement, which is basically the reason I'm calling is because we partner with, again, mentioning the exact ICP in order to help them high level outcome. So which is two to three commercial policies per month from high quality clients on a risk free basis. So this is using the Hormozy value equation. So it's saying that the dream outcome in the time frame and discussing the, the risk that they've got to put in, which is a risk-free basis, which would look like a guarantee or some sort of pay on performance model, right? So I'm using the language here that they speak. So instead of saying like clients, I'm using commercial policies because that's going to resonate with them more. They're going to, they're going to know that I actually have an inkling of what I'm talking about rather than me just throwing, you know, wide language there that which could apply to any specific niche. So then I talk about, can I quickly explain how we do that in about 20 seconds of your time? So that's getting the second yes. So we can go into the script here. And again, I'm covering go to market strategy, sales development, which is, it could, this could be uh, sales development. It could be like outreach, outreach or, or lead generation. But I've just called it sales development for the sake of this video. But it's three stages that, that we're covering essentially. So it's go to market strategy creating an outbound system and then helping them convert it. I've adapted this for the business insurance niche. What I did is I essentially plugged it into GPT, which I'll show you in a second, and said, how would you adapt this using industry specific language for the business insurance niche whilst keeping the pitch very similar and including as much personalization to the business insurance niche as possible. That way GPT is gonna give you industry specific, an industry specific pitch while still maintaining the outcomes focused you know, deliverables that you're going to be delivering for your clients. And your offer may look slightly different, but this is just one that I've built in for the sake of this. It's go to market strategy, outbound development, and then helping with sales. It's like the ultimate done for you offer. Does that make sense? So it's getting a third yes. And then again, just pitching what just, this is the call to action, right? So again, objections could come up here, but I'll show you, I'll cover objections in another video. I really want to go into depth about how you can handle personalized objections. But again, so this was the script, this was the list, it's all pretty straightforward. And then I built out this clay table. So essentially what I did is I just extract, I extracted this list here, I plugged it into clay, and then I started personalizing. How did I do that? Well, first of all, I have a prompt here which basically gives me a complete overview of what the company does. How do I do that? Well, I'll show you here. So I go to edit column and I'll show you exactly the prompt that I'm using. So. Basically what it is, is I'm using a ChatGPT API key, but all it is, is I, I say you're a reporter who does detailed research for news articles. You need to prepare three to four paragraphs of research. Visit the website at company website, which I have right here. Provide me at least three to four paragraphs about the business that will be used to create a press release about the business. Include what the business does, who they help, who they help them with. If your output is not three to four paragraphs, do the following visit additional pages and then basically look up on Google to get the information if they can't use the website. Must be three to four paragraphs and formatted in paragraphs, right? And I'll show you what the output for this looks like. Again, you can see here, it gives really lengthy long answers about what the company does, which allow us to personalize from there. Again, I was just checking if the business type is B2B or B2C because obviously we're, this is a B2B offer and we'll only be helping insurance companies. 
So from there, I'm using the ICP definition. So I plug that in from the output, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll run you through the prompt. So using the company, company overview result, give me the definition of the company in no more than three words. Three words, the output should be plural. And then I give a few examples here. And I believe there's some extra examples. Actually, no, there's not on this one. But again, that just gives me the exact ICP that this business insurance company falls within. So insurance services providers, insurance support organizations, insurance brokerage firms, insurance solutions providers. So it's not just a black or white, we help B2B insurance companies because that obviously, if, you do, if you've do, if you done any research into these different B2B niches, you know how, how much depth there is within them and you wanna be hitting that exact ICP every time. The next thing I did was the company pitch. So, this is essentially, I use ChatGPT to help, and I'll bring this up here. I, what I like to do when I'm using Clay is I like to, I like to actually use ChatGPT to help me come up with the prompts. So obviously, you know, with ch using ChatGPT, the better your prompt is, the better the output's gonna be. I like to back work, almost like reverse engineer chat GPT to help me come up with the prompt because obviously chat GPT you're it's being fed like millions of prompts every day so it's gonna it is the best tool for helping you get the prompts to then get the better output so you can sort of reverse engineer it doing that so I say can you help me word a prompt for this this is the input and I gave it this input here this input here that the company over you gave me and I said I gave it this input and I said, can you show me what an ideal, pro uh, oh, wait, no, and then I said, I need to make this pitch personalized with the details about the company whilst keeping the pitch 95% similar. And then I fed it the pitch that I had built out for the business insurance niche, right? And I said, can you show me what an ideal prompt for this would be and give me an example? And it gave me a prompt and it told me the input and it gave me the example output so then I just kept, I kept feeding it back because I kept reading out the pitch and I said, this is going to be read out loud from the screen. Make sure the text flows nicely to be read out loud. Also, it should be no longer than the original pitch. Update the prompt and show me the output. So then I just kept iterating it. You've lost personalization. It needs to be more personalized. I don't mind if that means it's slightly longer. Show me the updated prompt and output. So then I just kept, kept feeding this, right? Until eventually... I think I use this for examples as well. If I check it here, let me just double check this. Yeah, I had I had three examples here that I used. So eventually using this chat GPT, I got to, yeah, I, I basically, I got an output which was good enough. And then from there, I just fed it, I fed it more inputs and I used those as examples to feed into clay, right? But you should have an idea of this and I'll show you what the outputs look like. So again, it's completely customized now. You can see, so this is, I'll paste this into here so I can show you. This is the original pitch and this is the personalized pitch. See, it's, I, again, I, I prompted ChatGPT to make it the same length, but now it's completely personalized to this business. And all I have to do when I'm cold calling is have the original script pulled up and then have the clay table pulled up so I can read this personalized pitch as I'm dialing people and I'm literally speaking directly one-to-one -to, -one to these prospects that I'm getting in contact with, right? So it's pretty nuts. That's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments section. I'll also drop in a basic cold calling guide that you can sign up for. Uh, all, all that's required is your email address and uh, then you'll be sent a complete cold calling guide that I built out. I'm also going to drop a new one, so that should be shown in the next few videos. But let me know if you have any questions. I'll be responding to comments. So if you want to have any questions about this clay table or how you can build out personalized pitches, where you can literally pitch clients one to prospects one to one with complete personalization, then let me know. Like I said, be responding to comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.